During winter, the sun sets early in northern Bangladesh. It is time to go home after visiting one's friends. It is time to drive the cattle purchased from the market to their new goals or pens. It is time to start a fire to get warmth against the cold winter and discuss the events of the day. The arrival of the night is a time for rest, but for some it brings problems. Ataur Hussein is eight years old. He is night blind. He is unable to see in dim light. After returning home from school, Ataur eats a plate of muri, rice which is fried dry. Some nutritionists call it the white diet. Later, Atar plays with his friends. A cockfight is in progress. Atar cannot play for long. He has to attend to his schoolwork during the day, as he is unable to do so at night. One day, I went to the market. When I was coming back, I could not see things clearly. Mother said I was suffering from night blindness. I find it difficult to see things at night. If Atar does not find a cure for his problem, he may end up like Mufizur Rahman. Mufizur is 30 years old. He lives in Kaliganj in Lalmonirhat. Mufizur became blind during childhood. He got malnourished and then suffered from worms and diarrhea. He goes to town to beg and maintains himself with whatever he can collect. The burden of looking after the blind always falls on the women in the family, in addition to all the other work they do. Vitamin A deficiency is the main cause of loss of sight among children in many third world countries. Nearly 4 out of 100 children in Bangladesh are night blind. It is estimated that nearly 30,000 children suffer from night blindness due to vitamin A deficiency every year. Out of these 30,000 children, about 50%, that means about 15,000 children, die of different illnesses during childhood. The rest, that means about 15,000 children annually, grow up as blind adults. Now, if this trend continues, then we are going to have a tremendous number of blind people 
uh, over the years. The situation in Bangladesh is somewhat paradoxical. The village environment is packed with vitamin A. Colocasia grows wild along river banks and roadsides. Would you believe that I have treated a child coming from affluent family in Dhaka city who was suffering from night blindness due to vitamin A deficiency? That means literally he did not know what to feed the child. They had the means. Mathe bhate Bangali. Fish and rice makes a Bengali. So a local saying goes. Vegetables get low priority. When preparing food, vegetables are often not washed and cooked properly, which can cause indigestion and diarrhea. This has led most mothers to think that their children will suffer after eating vegetables. In 1984, Worldview launched a major program in northern Bangladesh to create awareness about nutritional blindness and mobilize people to tackle the disease. The Nutritional Blindness Prevention Program is now active in three districts, Gaibandha, Dinajpur and Lalmonihat, and reaches over four million people. These are among the high-risk areas of night blindness in the country. A small team coordinates the program in Dhaka and in the districts. Muhammad Iqbal Chodhri is a deputy director of the program and is responsible for field operations. The program is aimed at preventing the occurrence of night blindness due to vitamin A deficiency. Ours is a strategy solely based on communication. We are engaged in a number of activities to change the thinking of the people concerning their food habits and help to help themselves. Unlike other development programs, we do not provide loans or relief. Our success depends on how well we communicate with the people. Volunteers form the front line of the program. They specially work with mothers and persuade them to change their cooking habits and diets. There are 437 volunteers. All are women. A volunteer gets 600 taka, $16 a month. After recruitment, volunteers are briefed about eye care, vitamin deficiency, effects of malnutrition and problems concerning health and hygiene like the prevention of diarrhea. Rabia Begum works at Kaliganj. She is responsible for 800 households. Armed with flip charts and posters, Rabia is visiting Kashiram village. She covers about 20 households a day. Rabia drops in on Mojiha. She inquires about Mojiha's vegetable garden. Mojiha says that she sold some vegetables from her garden in the local market. 
She says that she does not buy meat and fish as she did before. She saves some money now. Rabia asks how vegetables can help people. Mojiha replies that vegetables keep one in good health. Volunteers also conduct group discussions. Rabia talks about measures to prevent night blindness. She urges mothers to encourage children to grow green vegetables. Vegetables should be eaten with rice. Papaya and yellow fruits can save your child's sight. Mola and tala fish are good. Vegetables should be cooked in oil so that they can be absorbed into the body. Do not stop feeding children suffering from diarrhea. Give them saline water and a paste of vitamin A rich vegetables and rice. Rabia tackles a common belief that a pregnant mother should not eat too much. If a mother does so, the baby would become big and the mother would have a difficult childbirth. Rabia especially advises pregnant and lactating mothers to get nutrients from vegetables so that babies would be strong and healthy. She also advises them to drink tube well or boiled pond or ring well water. Volunteers track down night blind children. Careful records are kept of the progress of each child. Every volunteer also maintains a demonstration garden in her home where she grows vegetables and fruits like carrots, red and green amaranthus, spinach and papaya. Villagers drop by to get advice and obtain seedlings. The efforts of the volunteers are backed by many other communication activities. The program works with schools to make students and teachers aware about vitamin A deficiency and motivate them to grow and eat green vegetables and fruits. Mustafi Zurafman, district coordinator for Gaibantha, addresses an assembly at Mohimaganj Primary School. Posters are distributed for use in classrooms. Throughout schools in Bangladesh, health education is now part of the curriculum. Textbooks in environmental science now deal with nutrition. The program provides small grants to some schools to establish and maintain vegetable gardens. Seedlings are also provided free of cost. Students actively participate in looking after the plants. As a result of the school program, many students have created vegetable gardens in their homes. All Bangladesh loves music. There is a poem and a song in every person. 
Folk songs are extremely popular among rural audiences. Musicians are recruited to form musical groups. They travel every day from village to village, singing songs in local dialects, alerting people against vitamin A deficiency. In between songs, poems are recited in a Puthi style. Puthis are folk literature, read with a melody. <laughs> To strengthen communication with villages, the program also involves village leaders. They include imams, social workers, elected chairmen, and members of local government organizations. At the program's office in Gobindoganj, village leaders attend a one-day workshop. They are first briefed on eye care and eye diseases. Then they are provided information on vitamin A rich vegetables and fruits. The workshop ends with a discussion on the causes and cures of night blindness. In Bangladesh, mosques are also places of learning. An imam who was at the workshop shares what he had gathered with those who attended the evening prayers. The Nutritional Blindness Prevention Program works closely with government health workers. Vitamin A capsules are distributed to children between six months and six years throughout the country. A night blind child is given a special dose. But the provision of vitamin A capsules imported from abroad alone is not enough. A regular consumption of locally available vitamin A rich food is needed to prevent the disease. <laughs> Cinema is one of the major sources of entertainment. Drama documentaries on night blindness are screened in local cinema halls. But according to tradition, most women in the villages do not go to cinema halls. Mobile film units screen the films in villages. I'm going to go to the 
Radio and television are also used to create general awareness. Radio spots, jingles, discussions and dramas are used to deliver the messages. All the communication activities combine to change the food habits and arrest the spread of night blindness. আমরা উনিশশো সন থেকে কার্যক্রম শুরু করেছি এবং এবছরের অগাস্ট মাস অবধি উই বিজ্ঞান দ্য গাইবান দ্য প্রোগ্রাম ইন নাইনটিন নাইনটি সিন্স দেন উই হ্যাভ আইডেন্টিফাইড টুয়েলভ থাউজেন্ড এইট হান্ড্রেড কেসেস অফ নাইট ব্লাইন্ড চিলড্রেন সো ফার নিয়ারলি এইট থাউজেন্ড সেভেন হান্ড্রেড কেসেস হ্যাভ বিন কিউর্ড Chini and her son Bimol live in Kumarchondo village in Gaibandha Shadur. Chini's husband works as a day laborer. The family has no cultivable land. Raite toke dekhto na hastai to and tate ami tir pasi. My boy used to grow up in the dark. I realized he was night blind. We took him to a village doctor but it did not help. One day Nazreen came and persuaded me to feed him with vegetables and fruits. The boy is now well. I got seeds and grew a vegetable garden. We get vegetables from the garden. I wash the vegetables before cutting. We use mustard oil. Oil is very costly. Yet I buy oil. I manage by buying less rice. The program has encouraged many farmers in the districts to grow green vegetables and fruits. Dulal is 18 years old. He works in his father's tea shop at Kaliganj in Lalmurihat. Dulal cultivates vegetables in the small piece of land behind the shop. তারপর আমি শুনছিলাম এই অন্ধত্ব নিবারণ অফিস থেকে যে এই শাকসবজি খেলে I heard from the programs office in our area about the importance of vegetables. We consume most of the vegetables we grow. but i sold some and earned 500 taka last season the nutritional blindness prevention program is not without problems everything does not flow smoothly ruhima lives in patgram in lalmonirhat she lost her 5 year old son <laughs> The boy had problems. He used to crawl here and there. There was no treatment. He had no proper food. His body swelled and he died. He did not see well at night. He had difficulty in seeing during the day. We are poor. We have no income. How can I get better food? The boy did not like to eat vegetables. 
Floods wreak havoc on lives and property. Floods destroy vegetable cultivation and undo the work done by the program in some areas. The village of Goborthon is located on the side of the Tista River in Lalmunirhat. Floods washed away six villages in the area. Monora Begum's family lost everything they had. My family grew vegetables. Our house was there and it was washed away. Previously, we were farmers. But now we are day laborers. We have no more land left. All the land that we had is now underwater. Landlessness is a major issue. Bangladesh has a population of 110 million. More than half the population does not own cultivable land. The prevalence of night blindness among landless families is higher than among land-owning families. Despite these obstacles, the Nutritional Blindness Prevention Program has had a significant impact among people. Can the impact be sustained? The communication methods used in the program were tested out in Pirganj in Rongpur district. Pirganj was chosen as it was a high-risk area for night blindness. The pilot phase began in 1984 and ended in 1986. That is all. Alhaj Talimuddin practices homeopathy at Projapara village. Of course the program has benefited the people. We no longer find cases of night blind children. I find some cases of eye disease but not night blind cases. Rabia Khatun lives at Dhonshala village. People become night blind if they do not eat vegetables. We grow vegetables to protect our children. Shujon is about 10 years old and lives at Kamitpur village. He attends the local school. Night blindness is caused by a lack of vitamin A. You can cure night blindness by eating vegetables like amaranthus, spinach and colocasia. The experiences of the Nutritional Blindness Prevention Program in Northern Bangladesh show that communication can play a major part in mobilizing people to solve their problems. People are willing to change when a proper benefit for them can be demonstrated. Nutritional blindness prevails in many countries in the third world. The disease occurs because we are blind to the possibilities that exist to prevent it. Nutritional blindness can be eradicated, but then we will have to move from darkness into light. <laughs>